Hey everybody, in this video we are going to find the exact value of the cosine of 285 degrees by using an angle sum or difference identity and I tend to default to using an angle sum identity starting with one of my angles either alpha or beta being 45 degrees or if it's in radians pi over 4 so let's get started if i'm using the cosine angle sum identity that's going to look like cosine of alpha plus beta and that identity you should i would imagine know it by heart by now if you've used it a few times but i always remember cosine we're going to get the opposite sign for it um, in the middle, sine keeps the same sign. Hopefully you know what it is I'm talking about. Another thing that uh, you can use to remember is COS for cosine. You have your cosines, opposite sign, and then your sines. Look at that cleverness. Oh my gosh, we're so smart, go us. Okay, so alpha and beta, what are we filling in? We need two things that add to give us 285 because we wanna find this exact value, that means no calculators involved, just your brain and your knowledge of the unit circle, and 285 is not on the unit circle. So alpha, we're gonna start always with 45 degrees, and then use our noggin to figure out what, 40, what the, I'm sorry, beta would be. So 45 plus what is 285? That would be 240 degrees. So there is my alpha and my beta. Now, Maybe you want a little quick picture in your mind. 45 is right there. And the cosine of 45 and the sine of 45 is actually root two over two. 240 degrees is right over about here. It's about 30 degrees. Well, it's exactly for 30 degrees before 270 degrees. So it's gonna be over here. That means you go left a little bit, but then you go down quite a bit. And if you want to think of your XY ordered pair, if your X is left, a little bit and your y is down a lot of it that's your x that's your y in other words that is your cosine and that is your sine so hopefully this is enough for us to keep it moving ready cosine of 45 degrees times the oops, cosine of 240 degrees minus sine of 45 degrees cosine oh my gosh again why do i do this sorry sine of 240 degrees in the next step you don't have to write sine or cosine anymore in fact you should not write sine or cosine anymore we are evaluating the cosine and sine of 45 degrees and the answer is root 2 over 2 so we're good Here's my minus sign, cosine 240 will go right there, and sine of 240 will go right there. We said it was over here, left, down, they're both negative. This over here is x, which is our cosine. This over here is y, which is our sine. So here I have negative 1 half. Here I have negative root 3 over 2. What does that give us? Negative root 2 over 4 minus negative plus... Root two times root three is root six. Two times two is four. So you can leave it like that. Depends what we are looking for. Maybe you wanna write it like that. Maybe you want to factor the root two out. And then that leaves you with root three minus one inside and put that over four. All of these, all of these are the same answer. Okay, oh sorry, a little focus. All right, all of these are the same answer. They're all great. I would probably personally write it like this myself, um, but any of them are fine. So I hope you feel smart. Click through for the next example in this set of trigonometry practice problems. And I hope you feel smarter. Thumbs up if you do, thumbs down if you don't. Have a great day. Adios.